This is the first stage of the campaign mode. What does the warden have to say? This is a tough one. What, having me in charge? The prisoner who's been convicted of a double murder. Double points, pretty good. We have to build an execution chamber, so they sent him to this prison knowing full well that we just couldn't execute him and expected us to build one. And he wants it here just next to the courtyard so people can look on in happiness. And we need an execution room and a holding cell. That's an entrance, clearly. Okay, I'm adding a few new work people, just to help out with the construction a bit. The thing I love is that there are absolutely no limits in this tutorial as to what you can place. Oh, <laughs> I've exceeded daily budget. Oh, I'm seeing a potential problem. I can't <laughs> create any more staff members. I've used up the entire budget for the day. Okay, I may have failed this already, but we'll find out. Inside the building they want a cell and an execution room, and a place for childcare as well. And in brick walls, which look absolutely awful, I would never choose that. Actually, I think while I'm ahead I might work on the flooring a bit. Notice the interesting triangular grass I've placed. Now that is a little flowery field, I think it really suits the mood. And it's great, we can even put a running track just outside. I'm gonna create a tiny cell at the top, <laughs> so someone lives in the execution room. Right, the cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room needs the electric chair. No such thing as having too much preparation. I'm going to place an electric chair here. These guards don't look like they've got any good reason to live. This is the guy who we're about to execute. I'll put a moose head there. Just, you know, remind him about what his fate is. Wait, what if I just place a wall there? Will that do anything? I can't believe it allows that. Well, and there's our running track just outside the execution room. I'm trying to be really respectful and just not joke around, this is quite a serious topic. I've had an extra bed there. You can just wake up, slide out, end your life. A little communal toilet area. We do really care about the well-being of our inmates. They're suggesting improvements. I just think that's a little bit fussy. They do say that the floor would look better with a higher quality floor material. You can see I have worked on that. I'm not completely useless. I was told you could add some lighting in a paved pathway. I've added a running track in a field. I'm way ahead of the game. And <laughs> here's the sale. Oh, sorry Dylan. Wow, that's an interesting way to go. Trying to make me feel really bad and consider the ethics of putting away his life. <laughs> but I've locked him in already. Wait, will it allow me to just demolish the walls? You can go buddy if you like. At least we got a lot of construction workers. I'm really trying to make it clear to him that he can just go. That there is the escape. Okay, let's hear his story. <laughs> I don't feel bad for him now. Who's that? We don't allow hats or glasses in our prison. Huh. <laughs> well, he's getting out. And shed volunteer for this guy. He's a stone cold killer who is currently escaping the prison. Oh, we got some dramatic backstory. I think this might be a little dark, I may skip it. <laughs> Why are all the doors open? Hold on, are they wearing inmates outfits? Oh, skip. <laughs> it works so far, <laughs> apparently. Oh, we need some power for the execution room. <laughs> well, we could just not connect it, just have a nice sit down. There's another thing I absolutely love about the tutorial levels. We can just straight do that. This is going to delete the entirety of the cell block. Here they come. That's pretty satisfying. Still have a good TikTok career yet. I don't know where to go. What have I done? I almost got rid of the power place then. That would not have been a good idea. Okay, we've got a danger level that's increasing. Maybe not great. Don't worry, I'll solve it by just getting rid of one of the prison. They can go whenever they like. All oh, that's going up fast. 36 serious complaints. It amazes me that they allow you to do this. If you're feeling at all sorry for the person who is about to be executed, bear in mind that he left the prison to the exit, walked the entirety of the way back round inside the prison and into the execution place. I'm not sure whether this expects me to provide power to everything, or just to the places that need it, because I have <laughs> demolished quite a few power cables. And I notice we are on quite low power, so I will add some capacitors. Now that's a lot of warning signs. Oh, I got rid of the canteen. Maybe that's why. Oh, I see the issue. I'm supposed to be connecting power to these rooms, but, um, they don't exist. 
I'll just pretend I didn't do that. We're going to make a couple new buildings. Theo incoming call. Why have you deleted half the prison? I'm already ahead of them. I have connected power cables to the electric chair. Why is the power still on low supply? I've deleted half of the prison and created an insane amount of capacitors. I promise you I'm doing things correctly. What's going on there? That looks like a real man's been hung up at the cross. Is that supposed to be prisoner Jesus? A little bit dark. Doesn't someone want to, you know, turn on the lights? Can I help you? No. It's time. I'm so sorry. I'm not taking this very seriously. Does he like the look of it? The picture on the top left is not accurate. There he goes. Tatty bye. Taking a while. The guy on the right looks quite nice. What does he have to say? Susan, who's that? Well, never mind. Admittedly, this level wasn't much of a challenge. I'm expecting something just a little bit more harder for the next stage of the campaign. Oh, why have they decided that my work on the first prison was so good they need to let me work on another one? Prevent more damage, yeah, I'll do that. Can I just let the fire do its work? 80 prisoners have serious complaints. What, that the prison's on fire? I like the idea that they heard there would be a big fire and that they might be in danger, and the first thing they did was just call a complaint, not, you know, run. Oh, that doesn't look great. Can I sell it? I'm on the sell menu. Oh, we need more staff, of course. Put them right in the middle. There's no way that could go wrong. Oh, there has been one death today. Oh, is it the work people? I'll set someone to dismantle all of those walls. I'll call the fire engines just for them. Might as well get the riot police and the paramedics as well. <laughs> There's a survivor. Ignore the people taking away the rubble to sell. Priced on a crutch, it's Don Palermo. It had to be him. I want us to hire a couple of doctors, but we have got the paramedics. And we need a garbage show. Those are our workers. They can't get in the building at the moment. Bulldoze all of that. How much do you think they'll allow us to get rid of? I'll delete just all of the cell blocks. I'm sure we don't need those. No, maybe I'll keep a couple just for some of the worst prisons. But this means we have a great open space to designate as a garbage zone. We've got a call from the CEO, let's hope that's positive. Yes, good work, apparently. Well, we've turned half of the prison into landfill. But, you know, first things first, let's check up on Don. There's Sunny Palermo. Oh, I said their names wrong. Not quite nice rings. Oh, they said bad words. How was he the only one to almost die in that fire? I mean, if they prepared it so that he was somehow transported into a canteen that was on fire, that's pretty impressive. The place looks a little bit dirty. I mean, I shouldn't really complain, I've just turned half of the prison into landfill once again. Well, it looks like there's a bit of a problem going on in the holding cell. Oh wait, of course, I destroyed all of the cells, so everyone's waiting in here. Still busy laying grass. Maybe this was a bit of a bad idea. I'm gonna get rid of a few walls just so that things are a little bit faster. One prisoner thinks that they're well treated. Who thinks they're well treated? Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Picked up his bed and he's not looking too good. Godfather would have been so much better if it ended with him just falling out of bed and dying. <laughs> okay, I've assigned about 20 guards or so to the um, electricity room. Just make sure that that's ultra secure. After all, if anyone breaks in, we could lose the ability to watch TV. It may have been a mistake assigning so many guards to the power room. Oh, the problem was I just assigned so many to that that they weren't doing the rest of the jobs. Okay, so apparently we need to replace the kitchen and the canteen. Oh dear, uh, they're not looking too healthy. Tell you what though, destroying all those cells does give a great place. Build a wonderful kitchen. We'll hire as many cooks as we can get. Okay, we need six tables, that is quite a few. Put the fridges directly next to the cookers. Add some extra sinks outside. The garbage zone is looking quite nice at least. Look at that. I had a load of TVs. Oh wow, these are cool. You can make foot bridges. I did not know you could do that. Apparently I've done it. Somehow our workers, the many hundreds we have, have discovered that there is some narcotics in a box of potatoes. Okay, so supposedly they've been smuggling drugs into the building through boxes of potatoes. How does that work? Did, did nobody ever check the boxes? How would the prisoners actually get access to the box of potatoes? They would have to be either in the storage room or in the actual kitchen itself. I think we're supposed to get some backstory here. It looks like the sort of person who would have a cereal with crude oil. 
Hey, they're using weird American words. I've lost interest. Oh, and naughty stuff. There must have been a good few instances where, like, young kids have got this and tried the tutorial. There's a very much optional take care of your inmates' needs. We will not be doing that. <laughs> there are no prisoners assigned to eat at the canteen. Oh, maybe because I got rid of the cell blocks. Well, there are a few cells. I signed the outside area as a morgue, so just don't ever open your doors. Just in case of a fire, we'll have extra sprinklers this time. I can hire more work people. That's a good thing. Uh oh, this might not be a good thing that I've placed so many. I do, I think, have to connect them. Why did I do this to myself? Why have people not died yet? I'm going to dismiss the riot police. I think they're being too firm. Hold on, I'll add a wall and trap them in. Oh, oh. they're not looking so healthy all of a sudden. There's an, an incident in the showers, there's a body. I've got to click on a Polaroid in the showers to figure out what happened. <laughs> it's in the middle of a field. Oh, what's that? Wow. Notebook. Oh, that's quite exciting. <laughs> and here's the story of how it happened. <laughs> he very carefully snuck up on him through the giant field. <laughs> Watch out. It's alone, perfect. No one will notice. Oh, they're saying naughty words again. Let's not include this. Oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> the flowers don't really help much. Pictures aren't accurate. Those are clearly faked. He's having good fun. Why is he flipping him around so much? Well, oh, that's a lot of people dead. Can you notice where it took place? Oh, what happened here? I mean, there have been two deaths today, but um, I'm fairly sure we're going to have a couple more. Who wiped all of them out? Oh dear, that's going up. Oh, 30, 40, 50. <laughs> and almost at 60. Wow, they all went at the same time. A big combo. At least the danger level's gone down. Eight prisoners still say that they're well treated. Which eight? We're going to do shakedown and lockdown and a, a bang up and roll call and a card response. Let's get them all done at the same time. They don't look like they're having a great time. <laughs> the two guards in there searching. It's not as bad as it could have been. No, half of them <laughs> have just still died. But, you know, it could have been worse. We need a drug treatment program. This was the point I got stuck at last time. Just to be a pain, I'm going to build this building across the entire middle of the courtyard. Just increases the walking lengths a little bit. Oh, they're about to finally get freedom. Well, I'm not sure we've got many more of them actually alive. I have a feeling that the ones that are still alive are ones that can't ever go. Oh, these are the chairs I need. I think I was placing the wrong ones. At least having such a big seating area is very advantageous to all of our asthmatic prisoners. There'll be no deaths in my prison. Well, the workmen are definitely busy. I'm not sure what the ones up there are doing. Well, I managed to do it this time. I think it was just the chairs that were the wrong colour last time. Why are those flashing? What have I done? Wait, I thought these were all dead. Oh, some of them have finally got out and they've got cells. Got to click the Polaroid in the infirmary. I think that's one of the few surviving rooms. Oh, there it is. Well, you know, I've been doing this for a while. I might do one more, but just as a good end if I don't. I'm going to demolish <laughs> the entirety of the rest of the prison. Set that high speed. Wow, that's disappearing quickly. There we go. I'm going to even replace the floor. Oh, wait. Have I got rid of the Polaroid? I mean, there have been still a couple of deaths. Oh, okay. Is everyone dead? <laughs> is everyone dead? I'm still bringing some in. Wow, the garbage area is not looking great. Well, at least we're building a small road. We are getting to work, but I need to high priority make an infirmary. I can put some cool saloon doors. Maybe not quite suitable, but why not? Oh, we are in the red. What's going on here? Well, there are still people alive, surprisingly. Quite a few of them. I'm guessing that we must have brought in some new people and they're having a jolly time. I cannot find where the picture's gone. Why are we getting, like, these ultra-high security prisons? Prison doesn't exist, stop sending them. Yeah, I've had a good run, but um, I think this is all the time I've got for today. Like and subscribe and these 11 people who just passed away didn't die in vain. Seeing that I literally cannot complete this level, I don't think. 
um, that's all I can do, so, well, bye. You know what, this is the warden's fault, I'm blaming him.